and we're on. Rafa Lindong. So 10. Ramon Reyes. Balik Bayan Box. Coming at you. Balik Bayan Box. <laughs> Episode 1007. Mm-hmm. That's right. You're killing me, bro. You're killing me. I know. With these. I know. You're killing me. And you know what? I feel uh, bad every time, um, you know, I cancel here and there. My hair is long. Because mm-hmm. I can't... It, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's really hard to find consistency on my end. Right. Talk, 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 talk about this. it. Talk What's about that? it. So talk um, about it. Well, you know, just because I have uh, a baby to take care of and I have to work around her schedule as opposed to, you know, her working around my schedule. Because it's not like, um, you know, if, if, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I have to work around her schedule. And if, ha- if I have to work around her schedule, then it's going to be very inconsistent, right? She's inconsistent. She's not right. like, um, well, like, you know, she's not like a robot that, you know, if she decides to sleep, she will sleep. And it's not like she has her own routine yet. And it changes. Um, that's a that's a big part of this whole inconsistency inconsistency thing on my end. So basically, what it so is I is am. we have a we have a loose schedule to record the podcast specific mm-hmm. time, specific day. But lately, I, I guess you know since you know you just explained it yourself what's going on with you it's uh-huh. it's been kind of tough when it comes to pinning down the actual time where where we were where no not where when we record which is you know it's a challenge yeah. and we've had conversations behind the scenes about it about how you know just uh-huh. being honest being transparent um uh-huh. right now i'm on a little bit of a little bit of a break when it comes to like my job and everything so i'm pretty flexible when it comes to that i'm okay right now but like what i told you uh mm-hmm. pri- privately is that you know i i can't it's hard for me to sustain yep. a later time mm-hmm. especially especially not only just that later time and also like you know, I mean, actually, the inconsistency that, that doesn't really bother bother me as bother me as much. It's more the it fact that it will bother you though. Eventually, because <laughs> even I, I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy who likes to be consistent. I like to be inconsistent. I like routines. I'm that kind of guy. So then, um, I try to make it, you know, I have it as much as possible. But lately, I haven't been getting that, and and that's why you know it, it's it's a big challenge on my end, right? Uh, even when it comes to setting up schedules, I had to, um, you know, there's, I think it was last week, yeah, last week I had to turn down a good opportunity because I couldn't commit to, uh, to time, time required that, time required for this program that i was supposed to uh, to be in this is for work and i'm supposed to be working with you know an amazing team and i'm talking about you know a director you know a director of the company my manager and pretty much my superiors i had to turn that down because i couldn't commit to the time right and i'm not blaming um and, and it's fine because sometimes you prefer to, you know, take care of your <laughs> of your kid as opposed to doing that, right? I, I guess it's I mean, hard for me to explain too, because then, no, you know, but I guess that as, as a parent, isn't isn't that kind of messing with your money now? Especially if you, you said you, you know that that's your income. You said you turned down an opportunity for something with for your job, right? Well, it, so, it, it, it's it's no, it's it's not a job. It's kind of part of the job in addition to i guess my daily job if you want to call it that it, it's more so, of like so, a, so it, it builds to it is what i'm trying to say like it's connected to it 
it is. It is. It's a good opportunity. I had to turn it down because then it would be unfair for uh, them if I agreed to it. And then next thing you know, I'm like, you know, half-assing my effort into the thing. Because we're talking about um, um, showing up. You no, know, like it, it. Like we're gonna be working with university students, and the course would run from six p.m. to nine p.m. And this happens twice um, a week, right? Well, I can't do that because then between six p.m. to nine p.m. That's when I have to um, put Lexi to bed. You know, basically feed her her a bath and all that other other stuff. Right. And it's not like uh, um, my fiance is going to be around to do that every time. Cause she's just started work too. And when I, when I get back to work, I'm probably going to be tired from work too. And then I would have to add that into my already um, overwhelming schedule, which doesn't make sense, which, which is why I had to turn it down. I was, I'm that busy and I'm not using that as an, as an excuse. I'm just, you know, that's just the reality of how things are on my end at the moment. I want to know how, why you're so busy. Because you want to know why I'm so busy? You're, you're like, like from my end, you're, all right, you don't, you're technically not working right now. Uh huh. There's, there's 24 hours in a day. Yeah. Let's get into how, it. How, how are you? How are you that busy? Okay, that's my, that's my skeptical look. Like, because because I've, yeah. I've talked no, to people good. that it's are good. yeah, I've talked to people that are that claims they're busy, and then uh-huh. when when they tell me their schedule, I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I guess you're busy in your definition, but mm-hmm. you're re- you're really not. I totally agree with what you're saying, and which is why we're gonna get into it. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Um, my girlfriend is now back to work. My fiance is back to work. She's working as a nurse, and she would work for, you know, twelve hours a day mm-hmm. every shift. Regular, normal right. nurse shift. Yeah. Now, she, yeah. So now she would switch from day shift to night shift. It's not. It's inconsistent on her end. Right. There are times when she would work on weekends. There are times she would work on weekdays. Now, if she's working on um, on weekdays during the day, she had to leave for work at uh, six a.m. Right, and she won't be back till um, till about seven thirty, seven thirty p.m. Because she's about thirty thirty five minutes away from work. Um, so, so so that's her schedule, right? Now, here's where I come in. Um, lately, because I'm, I'm unemployed, technically unemployed, because I'm on leave, I would help her out with prepping her, her breakfast and her lunch, right? So then I would have to um, get up earlier in the morning. So I'd get up at the wrong I don't know, four, four, four thirty. I usually get up around that time, anyways. And when I get up at that time, you know what I typically do. And sometimes I get up at three thirty. That's when I start doing my own, my own thing. You know, my journaling and writing and all that stuff. Um. And then, so then after six, she would then have to, you know, feed her baby. This is going to be a long story. And it's going to be boring. But I think you need to know all, all these elements because they all come into play. She had to feed Lexi, so that means she, she had to get her up. And then as soon as she leaves, I had to put Lexi back to sleep. Sometimes it takes her a while to go back to sleep, right? So it's, you know sometimes she would be sleeping at around 7. And then from 7 to 8, that's another window for me to continue whatever the heck I'm doing. And between 7 to 8, that's when I either prep her breakfast, I would have to either finish whatever the heck I'm writing, right? That's another window for me, or that's when I take a, uh, take a bath. Um, and then from seven to um, seven, seven thirty, or as soon as she gets up, I would feed her, right? And then play with her and then clean up after her, I don't know, her breakfast. Sometimes I would have to ask my mom for help until she takes, uh, she goes for her 
next nap, which is around 11. So I guess to sum this thing up, because I don't want to bore you with all the gory details, not gory, but boring details, my whole days revolves around her. And there's a lot of times, well, like you have to play with your kid. Because when I'm back to work, um, all that time, that time that I spend with her, it's, it's all going to be gone, right? Because I'm going to be at work for about, what, eight hours? As soon as I get home from work, I'm working at home. Um, and that's the only time I can take care of her. And then, you know, I only have like, what, like two, three hours window before I get her on her, um, her night routine again, which starts at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. now. Till eight, eight thirty. So that I don't know if that's um, that kind of explains why I'm that busy. And to top that off, I'm also taking. Um, I don't know if I told you. I think you already know that I'm also an insurance agent. So if there's a client call, and I've been taking trainings lately, right? I'm trying mm-hmm. to get that thing going. So I've been doing a lot of um, client presentations lately and I've been taking a lot of uh, trainings lately. So I have that going and I have my writing going on, which I, which is what I work on during, you know, well, the day early in the morning when I get up. So I have that and uh, I have that. I have my daughter and I also have my fiance that I have to support. Because almost all the time she start from work. I don't know if that gives you, uh, um, I don't know, like a, the details that you wanted to hear. And I'm not just talking about feeding. Like I'm all, like you still have to do the laundry, right? Um, you still have to, do, you know, if the baby poops, you gotta clean her up. There's a lot of those, and it's not like you can do other things on the side. Because if you're playing with your baby or if you're taking care of her. Uh, taking care of her well you, you have to be focused okay right? this, uh, that's enough that's enough okay i i, I get it it's just you, you're just whoo okay i'm swamped man like no i, I get it, i get it, it. it you're not you're not you're, you're a mommy you're the mommy that's what you are that's that's what's happening right now that we switch roles you're the mommy and i still have but, to work and i still have to pick up grocery I, like you know still, all that other stuff I, I, I get I get the hustle. I get it. I get it. I still don't think you're that busy, but I get it. Everybody's I don't know. Like the, how, everybody has their right. own. Everybody okay. has their the, own. The, the, so, let someone, me, the, based on what can, I just told you. Mm-hmm. Based on what go I just on, told on. you now. Based on what I just told you now. What do you think you can do to call you call yourself more productive and not busy? Because I don't know. If you if you're in my position, based on everything that I just told you now, because I haven't really told you the whole thing, right? This you don't is, have you don't have to tell me the whole thing, yeah. Right. But what I'm saying is you have your own definition of busy, right? So now if you're in my position, what do you think you you can do or you can change to call yourself busy or consider yourself? I, busy? I guess I guess in my in my uh, view, it's more, and this is going to sound bad, it's of more gender specific. It's like in my head as a man, because I don't, you know, obviously I don't know anything. I mean, I do know something yeah. about raising kids. I've had, I've ha- I have like younger siblings. I've, I've taken care of them over, you know, in, in the past. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. housework, I don't really put that in like the term busy like if you're doing house housework you're just you know you're just okay you're just doing housework you're doing mm-hmm. stuff in your house you're just doing stuff in the house for some reason in my head it doesn't click as oh yeah you're doing stuff you're doing you're not you're busy that that when i when i think about busy it's more like mm-hmm. all right I'm, I'm going out there i'm getting i'm getting after it i'm going after meeting after meeting i'm working at this i'm working at that mm-hmm. and like i said it's it's not i'm not claiming that i'm right it's just that mm-hmm. in my head, when you when you say all that, in, in my head, I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I, I guess you're it's doing not something. Considered, 
it, it's it's not considered as work. It's not but traditional busy, like, is what I mean. Yeah. Right, but 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 here's the thing. Here's the, but doing all this, I realized how like I have a higher respect for moms now, full time moms. No, I get it. I get kind of it. Stuff. I def I definitely get. It. And you've mentioned that last last time. It's yeah. It it's like it's, it's like reading a book. It's like it's like you know when you read a book, right? You have to be focused. You don't want to be distracted. Um, and I'm not talking about reading a fiction book. I'm not talking about Harry Potter. I'm talking about something. I'm talking about nonfiction, probably like a school book, right? Even if kind you like even if you, you read even if you read a fiction book, it's the same thing. But go ahead. But what I'm trying to say is, you know how you're re- very focused, right? That's what it's like when you're taking care of a kid, and there's not nothing. There's not much. Eh, there's really nothing eh, else you can do. Eh. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. But eh. yeah. Okay. There, this this is how I look at it. I don't want to be, mm-hmm. um, and I don't want to sound offensive to other parents. But if I'm taking care, if I'm watching my kid, I want to, I want to watch watch her because you got the she's at the stage where um, you don't know you have to pay uh, very good attention. So you don't know what she's putting in her mouth. You don't know if she's tripping. Sometimes she just wants your attention, and you she wants you to play with her. Um, you know, pretty much every moment. Right. Okay. It gets to a point where it, it, yeah. it gets boring, and and it, it drains you, right? So, I, I so, okay. So here, here's how it's, I look. It's at hard it. to explain. No, no. Yeah, it, it is. Mm-hmm. But here's how I look at it. I look at it. You're you're saying is that you're just not not even justifying. You're explaining it in a way that you're saying that it takes all of your focus to to do all of that. And okay, I want to correct you tra- there for a second. Tra- tra- okay, traditionally, you don't. I mean, I've seen parents, parents, mm-hmm. and I've, 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 you know, many experiences, and uh huh, I've never seen someone who's like, oh yeah, it takes all of it, blah 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 blah. Well, like you can, you can still kind of juggle while you're doing like babysitting mm-hmm. and raising stuff mm-hmm. like that. Well, okay, and and that's where that's where my issue is, right? Because sometimes pe- every parent's different, right? But there are parents who like multitask and stuff and just let their kid freaking play. Um, that's okay if the kid is what three years old, maybe four. If if we're getting into the specifics here, um, the, the the age of of the, of the child has to come. It's a factor. No, I, it's a factor. I, I, I get, I get it. I, I'm, it, I, I'm it, in there. I'm in the therapy world. I know what, I know what like development and all right? that is. So it, it still doesn't, you can still do that with that. You can still, if can you, you put an example then, if, if you put a kid in a space, for, for example, you, you put a kid in a safer space where yeah. she doesn't, she can't put anything that's small in her mouth. Okay. And as as far as like tripping and all that is concerned, I have I have a whole different opinion about that. I like uh-huh. for me, it's more like you 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 need sensory stuff. You need sensory stimulation. You need vestibular stimulation. So if you trip, yeah. if if you fall, you have to. It's it's a part of the experience. As long as you're not yeah. really hurting yourself, you shouldn't yeah. be helping your child. That's just me. Yes. And that's yeah. that's coming from me. So, so with that, uh-huh. it's. If you put your kid in a safe spot where you can see them and it's pretty uh-huh. safe to say it's pretty secure and you let them okay. do their thing, uh huh. That's not. Is that really taking your whole focus? Is that really taking up your whole time? You can no. do something while you're doing that, right? Well, hold on. No, no, <laughs> no. Not not exactly. Okay, talk to me. Here's right. Here, well, here's the thing. Kids wants attention from their parents. Okay. Right? If they want, if they ask for the attention, what do you do? You tell them to just, you know what, just do your own thing because I'm going to be doing my own thing. There's this tricky balance that you have to, to you have to hit. Mm-hmm. It, it, again, like I said, like until you take, until take care of a kid, it, it's kind of hard to explain because then you'll notice that there are, moments when they would look at you that hey that i want to do this you know she would tap here i want to do this i want to play that i want you to push me right i, I, I want to go up there can you please go me i want to go outside right okay you know what i need to i need to poop i need to 
pee. She would tell me all these things. So, or sometimes she would tell me I'm hungry. Now, if I'm, if let's say, if, if I just leave her there and I just watch her from a monitor, she'd look around like, where the heck is everyone? I'm alone, right? And meanwhile, even if I'm sitting there, if I'm not paying attention, what, what do you want me to do? Like read in front of her? I'm not giving her the attention that she needs. All I'm saying is that if people but, just gave their kid full attention all the time, nothing would be done in the world. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm not saying you're right. It's just that. Oh, I'm not going to say that. That's what I do every day, all the freaking time anyways. Right. But, there, there are breaks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, but okay. So there's breaks. To, so you're not. That I'm not going to be like, I'm not break. staring at her for like four freaking hours. That's, that's, isn't that, that's kind of what you're saying. You're saying like a hundred percent focus. I have to look, watch her every single time. Every single thing that she does, I have to respond. Well, that's not realistic, though, mm -hmm. if you think about it, right? Um, no, heck no, it's not realistic. It's not. But, but what not. I'm saying is, you don't take it too literally. Come I'm on not taking now. it too literally. I'm not taking it too literally. I'm just saying, like, I, uh -huh. with, the, with the way you're saying, it, you, know, I, I, you know, this is a conversation. I don't care. But, but what I'm, oh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, and, and, and I'm glad that we're, we have this recorded. Because someday you're gonna get to, you know, you're gonna have your own kid. Ooh, I don't. I don't, probably you know, gonna... I, I don't like this thing that parents always say. Oh, there's no. I've had. I've, I mean, it's not. I'm not gonna compare myself to you, but I'm saying mm -hmm. it's not like I don't have any experience in that area. I, I might not have swam in that pool, but I know what the water feels like because I've had. I've dipped my my legs in that. Here's what I can tell you, though, buddy. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's different when you're looking at it from the surface than when you're actually doing it. I totally agree. That I agree. Right. So, and, 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 and that's what I mean. And that's what I mean. Because then um, I, lately, because I, I've been so busy, sometimes, like, you know, at the, after putting her to bed lately, that's one of the reasons why um, we couldn't do a recording yet last night and the other night is because I had to do some client work, right? or training for my insurance and I slept late and I have to get up earlier in the in the morning and sometimes Lexi would get up in the middle of the night and I had to take care of her because her mom is just too tired to take care of her right so I'm uh, what, what was that like you know like two two nights ago I just had two two and a half hours of sleep man I was running on two and a half hours but I'm like what the heck it, does, it didn't have to go that far if I didn't have all these other commitments. I have a lot of commitments. That's the thing. I'm overwhelming myself with all these other activities. If I just had this and Lexi and my job, okay, that's fine. But then if you add my, like, you know, my desire to, you know, uh, to be a writer and all that other stuff, then it becomes complex. It becomes overwhelming. And that's what I meant by and that's on you that's know, on you. Exactly. Exactly. That's on me. It's your fault. And it's your fault. You 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 you're um uh, you're putting yourself you oh you can you you keep saying, Oh, you have only had two hours of sleep. You had a choice. You can sleep right. more if you want. Right. But I'm so not it's not I'm like gonna, I'm gonna it's I'm not gonna, like go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna pull us back into the to where we started with this conversation. Is where like I don't understand how you're how you're busy because you don't you're not working right now. I don't understand. No. And this is me trying to make the, you the, understand, right? Yeah, I I understand, yeah. and I'm saying, and my my retort is, all all, all that you're doing is, is self made busy. Like you you you're making be. yourself busy. It, it has to be though. It has to be though. Yeah. Like, you can't, it, it does. It, no, it doesn't have to be. No, it has it to be. Have, Here's it, why. Here's why. Okay, Here's why. why. Well, I have full control of what the heck's happening in my life. So if I'm so busy, you, I you made said you it have, happen. You have full control, you said? Well, I, like, that's how what I want it to look like. I have full control. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if I'm busy, it's because, like what you said, because I made it busy. I made it overwhelming for myself. And I did that on purpose. Yeah, but it's not... You don't have to be. 
it's not like it's of a course. job where you, you have to go drive and clock in and put in you know the time you're exactly. just like oh i'm doing this little project here i'm just doing this little project here yeah yeah so then so so then i i, I cost it i i you cost it exactly and i did it on purpose that's what i'm saying i'm in control i'm not doing all this you, because my hands are, you, are tied are you in control because you're you're saying you're overwhelmed is that really can you be in control Maybe you need to take um, a step back. Okay, let me rephrase that. Maybe control is not the word, but what I'm saying is I, I caused this. I, I, I did this to myself. Mm-hmm. And it's I'm overwhelmed. Infl- it's self, self-inflicted. Self Exactly. But, but here's the thing. I don't know. Like, I'm going to go back. I think I mentioned this to you previously because I was, what I was trying to say is I'm trying to stretch myself to a point where I can you know, be more productive because right now I'm overwhelmed. My balancing... Not really. Um, I'm doing a poor job at it, right? But then that's exactly where the, um, you know, the realization or the improvement needs to come in. Like, where am I lacking, right? Am I lacking my priority? I'm doing this so that I can stretch myself. It's self-inflicted. Am I making sense yet? No, this this is a a retread conversation. Yeah, but right, yeah, but. But, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I've caused this. Yes. I'm busy. Yes. Because I made myself busy. Most of my friends, even like pretty much everyone that I'm talking to, they're like, you're doing too much. Right. And I agree. And, and that's how I'm stretching myself. Right. I'm, I'm saying I'm busy, not because I'm complaining. I'm just stating that I'm busy. I'm not complaining because I did this to myself. Am I making sense yet? Mm-hmm. You made sense. Which, I right. just don't which agree now, with it. I, I, I still kind of don't agree with it, but you make sense. It is what it is. Right. A, a lot so, of it's just perspective. When it uh, comes of to, course. Of course. And, and, we're, and, and I can't argue with you either if that's how you look at it. Because, again, if you're not in my position, it's really kind of it, it, like I can't. It's unfair for me to expect you to fully understand what I'm going through. Because even with the people around me, I don't think they fully understand what I'm going through, and that's okay. They don't need to know. It's something that I have to deal with on my own, right? So even though if I like I have all these other commitments. But you're saying like they, you're saying that they don't know what I'm going through. I, like, all right, let me see how I can word this. You, you're, you're putting yourself in a synthetic, a fake situation. Not not fake, but more like inorganic situation because it's self-created. It's not an organic thing. It's not like you're going through life because life happened and you're going through it. It's more like, it's it's kind of like a simulation, because you're, you're you're doing it yourself. And yes, to 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 point the fact that like, oh, they don't know what I'm going through. It kind of degrades people the, the 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 things that people go through organically, because you're like, oh, you you don't know what I'm going through. Well, you did it yourself. It's not like you can't pull it out, pull out of it. When there's people that are so really so busy, and they're like, I can't. I'm so overwhelmed. I can't do it. Okay, like I'm, I don't understand the the point of what you just said there. I just I just felt some type of way when you said, "Oh, they don't. They, nobody knows what I'm going through." Like you're some type of some type of a victim to your you did it That's yourself. The, it's, and I it's guess not it's like the way, you can just. It's the way I it. said it. Maybe it's the way I said it. I'm not. I guess. Yeah, that's what I just said. It, it, it's the way yeah. I said it. But I'll be honest with you. It's self-inflicted, so I'm not really. Um, That's what I'm saying. Like, it's what do you what do you mean? Uh, you're going. You're I'm not going asking everyone. I'm you're just dating. It. I'm, it's your fault. I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm just dating. Well, well, okay. The biggest thing that my. What I can say with this, with what you're saying, is. It's not you. You can turn it off. I can turn it off, to. and exactly. I will turn that's, it off. Next and that's week. the difference. And that's the difference between someone who's going through something that they have oh. no 
no control over. And you, you're here like, oh, you know, I'm this, I'm spread so thin, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I mean, all right. I'm only and, saying that, though. I'm only saying that, though, because sometimes mm-hmm. I get the impression that you're like, what could you be fucking doing now? What? I don't understand how you're so fucking busy that you can't commit to this other thing. And I'm like, well. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying about, I'm and not that's, saying that. I'm not saying Hold that. on, but that's what I kind of felt because then, well, I have this commitment too and I have that commitment. So I have freaking multiple commitments everywhere. And I got to have to like manage it as, you know, the best I can because after my parental leave, I'm going to go back to work. And when I'm back to work, I'm going to slow down on the writing and I'm going to slow down on um, the insurance thing. Because then I can't juggle all these things at the same time. Work is mm-hmm. important to me, and I need my focus to work. Right? I, I like I can't overwhelm myself then. However, after this whole stretching thing that I've had during my parental leave, I think I've had a. Um, I can see where my limits are at the moment, because it did reach my limit when I was lacking some sleep. I've gotten to I've gotten to a point where I just want to you know what give this up give that up give that up because I'm fucking tired. It's gotten to that point too. But you know what? Mm-hmm. There's one more week left. Let's keep pushing. Because after this, I'm gonna recover. You know what I mean? It it, it but but again, I'm uh, the one thing that I hate too sometimes when I state some like a problem, I'm not saying it because um I'm I want to. I don't want you to kind of feel sorry for me or I'm not complaining either. I'm just, I'm stating. I'm not, I'm not going to say sorry. I, I'm not right. going to feel sorry. Right. So, so that's the thing. Like I've only had this much sleep. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to point out is um, I'm doing the best I can to deal with this, even though I'm not doing it um, as well as, you know, I should be. All right, so wrap wrap every, wrap everything up. It's um, I can I can handle the your inconsistency when it comes to time and all that. Right now, since you know, speaking of job, I still I'm still in the process of yeah looking for one as well myself. So I'm I'm free. That's I'm free. That, that's where I'll, that's where the next conversation's gonna gonna be. Um. Um, yeah, that's what our next conversation is going to be to, you know, tell me more about what the heck's, um, you know, what you're going I mean, we, through this. We, we usually lead with, you know, what's, what's happened with us this week, but we kind of had this long preamble about, oh, and, Where? and it's, 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 it's long overdue. We needed to talk about it and it's, it's mm-hmm. good. It's good that we did. Right, it's, it's it's a big elephant in the room that needs to be talked about, right? Right, right. So, what happened to me this week? Mm-hmm. Since the last, last time we talked, mm-hmm. you know how when you go, you know, when you go on a long flight to, you know, the Philippines, Europe, whatever, mm-hmm. and you have this stopover, mm-hmm. and you know, you just wait. Until mm-hmm. you go to the next de- destination, that's mm-hmm. that's that's what I'm feeling. That's where I am right now. I'm in a layover, and okay. it's only it's only been a week and a half, and I am going crazy. Like, I'm going crazy. I I feel like I'm just useless, and I just don't. <laughs> I try. I try to be. I try to do this the the, the self thing that you do, you know. Mm-hmm. But I can only do so much because I don't. I'm not. I don't. I'm not built like that. I'm. I'm the type that I need to be busy so I can get busier. I need structure. Like I need. I need to do stuff, and I. I need something. Not. I can't do that myself. Like I can't make myself. Let me. I can have a schedule, but only to a certain extent. Does that make sense? Because I've been working. Kind of. Yeah, uh, it's been only it's only been a week and a half, and 
and you know I've, I've designed this little schedule that i i do during my day uh-huh. and it's you know more mornings are primarily like physical like i work out i do all this stuff uh-huh. and then afternoons yeah. it's more i read job uh-huh. job stuff job hunting and i do yeah. i've 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 done i've leveled up with like my music i've written a uh-huh. song last week right. uh-huh. and i'm almost done with it so you know i, I try so to keep myself busy. busy and that's <sighs> busy to me that sounds busy to me eh. but how much uh-huh. how, how, how much because here's, here's again i'm gonna throw back the same question i asked you earlier mm-hmm. what do you th- what do you think you should be doing to consider yourself busy or to stop yourself from um, feeling crazy? What do you think that missing element is? You know, like uh, it's just if you have a right. job, would you feel busy then? Yeah, it's. I think it's. It's more like, like the the sense of purpose. But like you have I a need... purpose. To... Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I do have a purpose, but it's it's a minor purpose in my book. It's something, it's an accessory. Like what okay. I need in my, in my life and for my life to go ahead and start, you know, restart with, with this restart. Mm-hmm. And like I told you, like I told you last week, it's, I need to have that one thing, the bottom of the pyramid first, and that's the job. I need to have that in order for me to, okay, since I have this, I can plan ahead and like add, building blocks to it this is just top of the pyramid type stuff i can do this when i'm like i already have a job all these things are just supplemental it's not the the main course i totally understand i totally understand what you're saying um Mm -hmm. but where i'm getting at is um again i guess it's all a matter of perspective because i've been in that situation too um you know, like if I don't have, if you don't have a job, it kind of makes you feel like you're useless. But I think that's the, um, that it's a phase that you go through. You're, a, you, it's only been a week and a half. I've had Ooh, that been, for it's like, been, it's, been a, it's been a long week and a half though, bro. Oh, uh, of course. But, but don't you think that's also tied into the fact that, um, that you're kind of tying in um, I'm not. I'm not saying that jobs are not important. It's important, fuck. But I'm not. It has something to do about tying your your. I'm gonna have to. You, you hate this word. I'm gonna your ego to work the job. Mm-hmm. If you're tying, if you're tying your like yourself or you into a job, then, um, then it's kind of like oh, oh like I, it it makes you kind of weak. Because then, if you lose a job, then you kind you can kind of lose yourself to your, your you lose your sense of purpose. But a job well, is just the yeah. job. It's, a job is okay. a job. It's not. Let, let me let me rebut rebuttal make a rebuttal. It's not just a job. For one, it's it's like I said, it's it's my career. That's that's my, that's my career. Okay. And it's it's sure. it's really not it's really not just that. It's it's more like that's the means for me to restart my my what, what I'm going for right now. I and I cannot I cannot do anything mm-hmm. until I do that because you know I need to have that job offer so I can move out of this place. It, it's a tall if order. I don't, what if I don't if I don't have that? It's just it's it's not it's not being weak. It's not being it's just it's just practicality, financial reasons. I can't do anything if I don't have if I'm not making money. Right. What am I going to do if I'm not making money? And there's another thing. Like I've ha- I've been having this pressure from external sources mm-hmm. to like oh why don't why don't you just like you know stay here in Georgia and make it and just find a job here? And s- stubborn old me is like no. Like I've set my goal that's that's the path that i'm going i'm not gonna to to me applying for a job here in georgia even though it's more practical it's it's a sign of defeat in my head like i'm 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 doubting my 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 plans i see what you're saying because then the but we're just gonna have the, the when it comes to path 
there's no straight line, eh? It's like, to me, it's it's like this. Yeah, but the, yeah, but there's a destination, and, and that's where that's where I'm trying to go. Right, but what there's, I'm, there's what a I'm saying is there's a direction. You, you create a direction, right? But what are your chances of um, following that direction? Because if you're too strict, it it it's kind of like um, um, you know what they say about it? like like if you're a perfectionist, right? Like you, you have a plan and you want to stick to the plan, but the chances are it like things are changing around you, and they're never change is constant. So, so when you created this plan, you had um, it's driven by you know like past experiences, beliefs, and all that other stuff. But as you move forward, though, um, that view or that plan may have changed because of what you're gaining or, or what you're learning as you're going through through this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I know you set up a straight path, and it's good to stick to the path. But I don't believe in straight path. It's, um, you know. I don't think it's a straight path. Uh, it's just you, you're calling it a straight path. I don't think it is. And uh -huh. uh, what you're saying is just a general advice. It's not, you just, it's more like a general, what you're saying is all like generals, like general this, you're doing this because this. Specifically, uh -huh. I'm not, it's not a straight shot because I'm not, I'm aiming for a certain place but not even too specific. I want to go, I want to move to Florida, but it doesn't, it's not as specific as like, I, it has to be a, in this specific city. Florida right. is a big state with a lot of opportunities. Right. Well, so, not here. and, and, and it, my, my, where my stubbornness goes in is that in my head, I firmly believe that if I deviate from that, it's like I'm giving fate I'm, I'm basically trying to tell fate, like, okay, I, I'm not trusting the process. And you got to think about it. It's only been a week and a half. It's not, it hasn't, been two, half. it hasn't been a month. It hasn't been two months. So you, you have to factor the time as well. Right. I'm, I'm going, I'm going crazy over here, but at the same time, I know that it's only been a week and a half. It's only been 10 days. <laughs> right. It's not 10 days is, is nothing. Uh, and so here's what I'm going to ask you. What have you been doing to, um, to find a job out there? I like to talk about careers because I've jumped from you know, mm -hmm. one company to another. And so let me ask you, what have you been doing to get a job out um, there? Other, besides, other, other than applying? Other than what? Applying? How are you? Other than, here's, other than what? Uh -huh. Yeah, other than applying at every job postings that I can see. Here's what I'm going to, no, no, right. Now, when you're applying for jobs, do you, do you think, like, do you think you can do something with your approach when it comes to applying to job, like, you know, for okay. jobs such that yeah. it gets you there faster? You know what I mean? I I've, 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 I've had this conversation with someone, someone as well. Um, I feel that it's a lot different when it comes to the medical field the way we apply at things it's not as how how you guys do it because it's more straight shot it, it's really there's not you can't really make something more flowery you can't have a your approach cannot be that different it's the same thing does that make sense it's more like no it's not making sense to me okay because then what you know like what why would someone pick you over the others right experience, experience usually so then if you lack experience, then you don't have a shot. No. So, that's what you're saying. So, so, so a lot of companies like hire new graduates and stuff. And, and that's, that's, that's where I'm kind of, and I guess that's where I'm getting at. It's not like it's a generic approach. What I'm saying is, and I'm not saying this because it applies to, to medical industry, but it sh they should all fall into kind of the, like the same, um, basic mentality when it comes to hiring people right um now the reason why i said that is because i've done that too when i was applying for jobs in toronto toronto is a big place um there's a lot of competition and you know what i did when i looked 
like every day I would apply for probably a job, five jobs probably every day. I must have applied uh, for a hundred job postings and got, I don't know, one or two uh, callbacks or an interview. It didn't help much. And it took me a while to realize that maybe there's something wrong with what the heck I'm doing. And I was kind of like you too. I was stubborn. And I had this thought that whatever resume that I have is, you know, is, is good. Because that resume got me the jobs that I've had and I got a job right away, which made... Okay, so what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is maybe there are some things that you can do in your process. So, so you're saying I, I need to look at my resume and see if it's the resume? Yeah. <laughs> so that, 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 that. No, you, went like, you went like 30 miles around it? <laughs> right. That's, where, that's basically... Because you know you're... Stu- you, say, you, you call yourself stubborn. But the moment you become but stubborn, I don't, I don't think like it's you're not open I really, to yeah, other possibilities. I really don't. I really don't think it's that. To so like, I'm I'm just be, just based on my experience. I don't think it's that because I've had like I to, I don't know if I told you I've had when I was still in Maryland. I've had like multiple people that called me back. It's just that I wasn't able to commit because they wanted me to be there right away. Mm-hmm. That's that's the main thing. And so it's just a matter of being patient. I guess, and I've I've been I've been told this. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just that I, like you know, like friends and stuff. Just okay, because you know, I've been like really like a little bit antsy. Not not really depressed, but it's more like, I like, like it goes back to like I feel like I'm like useless. I feel useless. It's just you know, it's 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 a personal it's a feeling. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with you yeah. on that one because yeah. Yeah, but like I ch- like I've, I've been trying to be as productive as I can. Like like I told you. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Have Have you been talking to someone in Florida? Have you like tried to connect some? Uh, you know, in terms oh, of I, like like. Yeah, I also had that route. Like, I actually kind of uh, networked a little bit. Like, I asked a couple okay. of people that knows mm-hmm. people in Florida, and I'm like, if yeah. you guys know something, you know, let me know. So. I did yeah. some of that as well. So I feel like I'm, you know, I'm not lacking in like the effort department. I, ha- I have been, I've been doing what you said as, as well. Like I've been applying like two, three jobs a day. Yeah. But, but the point that I'm trying to make there is I'm doing all this effort, mm-hmm. but they're the wrong kind of effort. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that that's what's happening on your end, mm-hmm. but that's the mistake that I've had. And, and if that's not what you're doing, then okay, then good. Right. It's, it's, I, it's, I get it's it. A, I, it cost me a lot. Yeah. I hoped a lot, but so what else? Um, and you also said something about you apply applying for jobs in Georgia. You know, like what's stopping you from doing that while you're waiting for that next opportunity? Mm, um, like I, I already mentioned it a little bit while ago. It's it's the whole. Uh, I feel that if I do that, I feel like I'm giving fate. I'm not giving fate a chance to do what it's trying to do. I need to be patient and I need to believe in my path. I have to. Because I feel like it's, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating on my destiny. It's like, all right, all right, I, I'm kind of giving up. Because because if I if I did that I feel like I'm given at least I'm gonna give myself maybe a timeline. I, I'm not saying until the end of the month, maybe or maybe a week or two more. And if nothing nothing comes into fruition, I can start maybe looking at some of the jobs here temporarily. Temporarily, yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, that but makes for sense. Now, yeah, but for now, you know, it's it's not like. I'm going to be like this forever. It's more like, yeah, I'm just one thing at a time. One little thing at a time. Yeah. Because that's what I told myself too. Like, hey, I'm going to give myself three months to do this. Six months later, I'm still there. Uh, (laughs) um, Because I I kept giving myself. I I kept giving myself, okay, like, you know, I'm going to push it even further. Push it even further. And it didn't work out. 
And at that point, um, I don't have any more regrets if things don't work out because I've, I've tried, man. Like um, the money in my bank account is um, is 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 um, is nearing to. Uh, I'm not saying it's close to zero, but you know, I'm draining my savings. And then I had to, you know, uh, tell myself to, you know, just suck it up and and just give up. That's what I did. Um, how, did I regret anything though? No. But sometimes you just have to. I'm not saying that that's what you should do on your end. It's only yeah. been a week. It's only been a and week. It's, I, I know, we're, 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 in, we're in like different phases in our life. Like I don't, you can compare a little bit of it, but you can't really compare it. Again, because I'm not exactly in your position and I don't know what other factors play into uh, your decisions, right? There are a lot, I'm sure there are a lot of factors that, um, that come into play in there as to why you're doing what you're doing now. Things that I don't understand. Right. I'm only seeing things from the surface based on the limited information that you've given me. Uh, if that made sense. Oh, oh yeah. All you got to know is that that's what I want. And that's, I'm going to trust in the process and have faith. Have faith. I yeah. got to have faith. When I say faith, sometimes it's, faith is a fucking tricky thing to me. Um, you know, like, I don't know. You just, you just, yeah, you, you, you make it right. Nah, you it's, make it's fate. I, I get what you, I get where you're coming from with all this, but at the same time, you, you kind of sound like a scorned traveler. Like you're just like, <laughs> you know, we've talked about this before, right? How about right. how, pe yeah. how people, when, when people uh -huh. try to achieve, achieve their dreams, there are people that are like, oh, it's hard. Uh -huh. I've, done, I've done this and it didn't work out. Well, that's not, I, I hope. I mean, maybe that's what I'm sound, sounding like. But what I'm saying is. Like you kind of sound like that, bro. But no, you're you uh, sounding like the stuff that we're saying. You're sounding like the people that we talked about and hated. Mm, okay, so then maybe I should have said it differently. That's not really what I'm trying to say. I guess all I'm trying to do is share my failures so that you don't, you know. You, you, I don't you're know. not going to go through the same fields. But here's the thing. Here's what I understand too. You're a totally different individual. 100%. Right? So, um, and that's what I've seen. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just sharing this. But is it going to happen to you? I don't know. No, <laughs> I have no not. idea. <laughs> and, I know it's and not. The only, and the only way for you to, um, uh, to find out if things are really going to work out is to really, again, to try it. And right. That's what we've been talking about this whole entire time. Right. Past episodes, that's what we talked about, didn't we? We talked about so then, you got to find your own thing. You got to learn because if you, like, you know, no offense to you, but if if I let other people's mistakes and other people's, like, bad experiences affect my mentality when it comes to this, then I'm I'm going to be more inclined to be like, uh, all right, let me play let me play this conservatively. Let me play it safe. Let me go ahead and just stick to being in Georgia and just find a job here because it's it makes more sense uh, rather than. But you know what's gonna happen the, though if you do that. What's gonna happen gonna, if I do that? You're gonna end up being unhappy anyways if that's not what you really wanted to do, right? Okay. I'm not okay. saying I'm I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying that you should give up. But what I'm saying is, um. My experience, other people's experience, I'm not putting it out there and for you to give up your dream because we don't want you to fail. That's not what I'm fucking doing. I'm just sharing. Um, but some other people would want, wouldn't want to see you fail and wouldn't want to see you uh, go through that heartbreak. That's, some people are like that too. But, but with what I'm saying is, you know, this is what happened to me. And hold on, let me finish. I have like a, I'm going somewhere with this thing. Um, so now, with the experiences that you're hearing from other people, use them not as a way to um, 
not don't don't use them such that um not to influence you per se but take them into account take them into a factor again our experiences are going to be different from yours I, and i understand that but you shouldn't you know push them away either you should always take them into account and make a call because at the end of the day it's really you you don't you can't blame me you can't blame those other guys right i followed your advice and therefore i'm here i'm stuck in georgia I, like i get that too and um yeah i disagree fully 100 percent okay but i i i get it i i get i i, I hear you and i still it comes back to the whole like I don't really need advice usually and I'm you yeah. know it's 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 my path and yeah it's not I, I'm not I'm not uneducated with the terrain that I'm going to mm-hmm. I know the I know the the pros and the cons I know the risks that are involved I am as mm-hmm. aware as one can be in what, what's going on in front of me and I'm choosing despite all that mm-hmm so it's not like I'm coming from a place where I'm like, I'm blinded, you know, it's not, it's not that I, I know. Like I know. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying either. But, um, you know, with, I'm, now I'm going to have to, I'm going to loop that back to the, you know, where we started. Because when you're saying you're feeling useless, well then, okay. So what do you think you can do to make you feel yourself less useless right get a job but if you're not getting a job then then you're just in a loop then right no it's not a loop it's just i'm I'm in the useless space it's not looping i'm just i feel like i'm just like yeah i'm it's it's a little too harsh it's really not useless per se that's not really the term that I, i feel it's just an exaggeration obviously it's more like i'm just like I said, it's like a layover. I'm like, I am stagnant. Mm-hmm. Not useless. It's like I'm stagnant I'm for one and a half, uh, a week and a half. I wonder yeah. what thought, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. But you, you're doing something though. Like, it's, it's, it's that's the thing. Like, it, yeah, uh, it, yeah. I guess, I guess what I want to, um, what, what's, what I want to find out or what's making me curious is, the feeling that you're useless because you don't have a job. Like my, my, I think my dad felt the same way when he was, um, I think he was fired, but, um, all right. You, you need, you need to work on your listening because I literally just said, it's not, I'm, I'm taking it back. It's not useless. It's more stagnant. I just explained. I have a point. I have a point. Hold on a second. Hold on a you second. Not, do, do you hear, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? By the way, what, well, what movie I, is that? Uh, Rush Hour. Tucker. Right. Um, um, Chris Tucker. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it, it's, I, I, I guess the reason why I'm bringing up my dad is because even him, I think he attached himself to, um, <laughs> see, that's the thing, I don't know, like, ego or himself to jobs. So when he was fired, obviously he he felt useless, right? Um, he looked for a job. He found he found a job, but the fact that when you lost your job, and and obviously you're gonna be sad about it. You lost your job, man. Um, but it hit him really hard. But in my head, when he when he was working, he keeps talking about retirement. I want to retire, 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 retire. Okay, now that you don't have a job. You're basically retired if you think about it, but somehow yeah. it stinks. But somehow it stinks. There's yeah. that thing. Because you know why? Why? It was, I don't know. It, it was. It wasn't his term. He he didn't he didn't end the job in his own term. If he got fired, that means that wasn't his control. He didn't get to decide like, all right, I'm gonna retire. That's because that's different. When you say I'm gonna, I want to retire. That means you're, it's, it's within your control. But if you get fired, that's, you didn't do that. So that, there's a big difference. Well, big yeah. difference, bro. Big difference. 
that is a big difference. Because that, that's 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 what that's what's playing in in my head. I'm like, well, you're this is now, it's done. Someone did it for you, right? You don't need to go to work. Not anymore. But it stinks. It stinks so bad that, you know what? I'm gonna get back out there, and he did. You know, he's working again. Yeah, and there's um, there's another thing when you said you don't understand why sometimes, you know. They, like people feel like that another thing to factor is different people have different they put of different import, importance on things when yeah. when when your job is like the thing that keep, gives you purpose when you lose a job or when you having a hard time finding a job then that that's where you're you base on your self-esteem your ego or okay that's the word that i was looking for self-esteem that, that's the word that you're looking for <laughs> that was the word that i was looking for and i even bought a book about that one it's called the six pillars of self-esteem uh, it's a good read too. um i'm not saying i'm not suggesting you should read it but it's a good read you and, you, you and your self-help um, books yeah they do help right um it but anyways that's my thing about you know my thing about jobs because I see people, you know, complaining about jobs a lot, and and maybe I don't know exactly what they're going through. But if hey man, if this is making you unhappy, just leave. But sometimes. But that's all. Don't you think that's human nature, though? It's always like grass is always greener. Like people are always, most people are always like, oh yeah, complaining about what they have, and then once they don't have it. Th then they go to this revision revisionist history like everything was like awesome and butterflies and roses when he, they were working when when they were working they were all they did was complain that's just basic psychology like you want something you don't have and you freaking complain about what you got i guess so a lot of these things you can't some people just be talking too, you know? Some people just be talking and they don't even believe what they're saying half the time. How the heck do you believe what they're saying? You know, that's why I don't be trusting these people. Uh, sometimes I don't trust like what you people are saying because like, do you even believe, are you just talking because you're just talking, you know? And that's the main thing. One of the main reasons why I don't, I don't take advice because like, no. Why? No. Okay. Well, well, that, like, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And, I, and I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not like attacking you personally. I'm just saying in general. Like, I oh, just, no, no, no. I'm not. It's not about me. Like, but what no, I'm it's saying not. is it's really not. because the, the moment the moment you push things out like that, you become closed. Eh, no, no, not necessarily. I listen you're to advice, cool. but I don't. I, I I listen to people's advice, but I don't do them. If that, are you probably you're probably doing the same thing. You listen, but you don't do them. Yeah, but I'm more like I I, I really don't want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of thing. At least at least you listen. I try. I I, I just I, I listen. I I always listen. Right, and sometimes I have to ask myself. It, 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 again, at some. <laughs> I was kind of like you two before, but then I changed over time. Like, I'm going to be more like open. you kind of like me. What, what does that mean? What, what, what am I right now? This, this, dismissing people, this, dismissing their mm. opinions because they don't know exactly what the, you know, you guys don't know exactly what you're talking about. And that's not, but that's not what I'm saying though. I'm not being dismissive. It's more like, I, like I, well, I've if you're not listening, then it's being dismissive. Yeah, but I'm not asking for advice. Well, that's the thing. I'm not, and you know, we go back to this whole. We've had this conversation before. How people always try to give people advice. That's just nature. Because they want to help. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I don't need. You know, it's it, it's not like I don't ask for advice. When I really do need advice, I do ask for it. And I've I've asked you for advice. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that, your memory sucks. But I asked you. I asked you for advice <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. So, right. so it's not, I'm not, I'm not closed. 
that's not that, that, is that someone that's closed no it's not i'm not it's it's i i know what i want i survey the land i'm mm-hmm. not making this i'm not making decisions blindly like i i have mm-hmm. i've researched them you know and when i feel like i need an input, an external input, I will ask for it and I will listen and I will definitely like take it into account. But when someone just straights up like, oh yeah, you should blah, 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 blah. Then I will be dismissive because I don't need it. When, when, when I'm, you know, when I'm not thirsty and someone keeps like shoving me water, what are you going to do? You think I'm going to drink it? No, no, thank you. You can drink that shit back. You know? <laughs> and in my in my in my you know in in someone's eyes in your eyes or whoever it, it might seem like it's like dismissive and like kind of like arrogant in a way but that's just um, there's just i i can't i can't put it anything else like that's just no, it, it is what it is no, no it don't again i totally agree with what you're saying and, and sometimes it's hang on I'm sorry I'm sorry let me finish this and it's not like I'm doing this you know I'm doing this with you cuz we're close like I can honestly like speak out like well, this. That's, I'm not, yeah. yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it out loud to like regular people i'm gonna be like no yeah i'm just gonna be like yeah thanks man appreciate it you know i'm i'll be like that okay but, well then i guess that's put that puts you and i in the same position and like cause I, like i'm the I'm, i guess i'm kind of the same way i just i, I just agree even though i totally disagree right and i don't want to get oh, no. into it Oh no! I'll nod. I nod my head, but then after they talk, I'll be like, eh, okay. "Okay, I disagree." Because I'll, 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 I'll say it out loud. I'll be like, "I disagree." Because I was under the impression that you're just like, you know, someone's giving you something, and you just, you know, swatting their hand away, right? Well, that's what it. That's what it sounded like to me earlier. But obviously, in, in, I misunderstood that. Yeah, it's definitely like that in my head. That's for sure. <laughs> so I was trying to, you, trying to give like this boy is thirsty. Let's give him some water. Let's give him some water. Ito ang tubig mo, uminom ka. Oh, and then when, when, you know, let me, one nice thing about being back home is, you know, uh, closer to my family. I'm able to see them, you know, a lot more. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that was, that's nice. And I'm actually, the reason why, you know, this is, we're recording this on a Monday night and we're going to see skip the weekend this weekend and yeah we won't we won't be back until next the weekend after next yeah which is i don't know the 20th the 20s and the reason for that is to peek behind the curtain um uh, on my end i'm going to i'm going out of state i'm going on vacation this weekend going on vacation mm-hmm. with your family yeah no with my friends nice well i kind of have to because uh uh you know uh, there's some there's some no no not only that there's there's something supposed to happen this friday but it's not happening so i have to oh shoot <laughs> did you have to like reschedule things and rebook here and there because i don't know how far you've gone to when it comes to uh you know doing that Let's just say I, it was. I, a, I, I didn't even get a chance to buy. <laughs> <laughs> well, good that, it's good that you didn't. It's good that you didn't. Because you know what, COVID happened, and yeah. I was like, "Shoot, I don't know how my fiance is gonna take this, but I'm gonna ask." And then COVID happened, and then you broke that news, and then I'm like, "Well, that sucks." I didn't think it would go that far, but whatever. Anyways, so that was supposed to happen this week, huh? It's right. This That's Friday. Interesting. Oh, this this Friday. Mm-hmm. What's this Friday? The eighteen. Oh, the eighteen, huh? Oh, kind of, almost like a week before the big day, huh? When you were born, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the um, well. That wasn't planned, but yeah, that's yeah. So I'm trying to you know distract there, myself as, as much as possible this weekend that's how bad is this needed... how, how, how bad is this thing i'm sure it like i don't it's even know bad. if you've you've had enough time to you know um 
recover? Yeah, recover. I was gonna, I was gonna say, no, that's not the right uh, term. Never mind. I was gonna say, yeah, fight the, fight the, um, whatever that feeling is. But anyways, yeah, like the the recovery. It it, it takes a while sometimes, right? That's probably one. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. And probably it, adds to know, that anxiety yeah. that you're having. It's not um. It's not you know you know getting over something or someone it's not fluid it's always like sometimes it's up and down um uh, but i'm in waves yeah on a scale of one to ten with ten being fully recovered and one being fresh it's uh, i'm at a, like a seven eight sometimes nine it's 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 pretty good uh-huh and, well, that's good yeah yeah, obviously, like this week is a special time, <laughs> so it's probably gonna dip down to like five or four, you know. But what 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 I guess got planned, if you don't mind me asking, um, going out for a camp, or are you guys gonna go uh, to places, go hiking, going, maybe going to the going to the beach. I'm planning on going to New Orleans. Oh yeah, on this weekend. You know where that is, right? No. Like, like where I've Mardi heard. Gras, the Mardi Gras and stuff is, like oh. it's it's a it's a French um, originated like state city whatever, and okay. it's it's pretty it's 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 a good oh, place for you good. to for, forget to forget your worries and your strife. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, well, it's good. Oh, it, it, like cool. I guess you need that. Remember that? Were you there when we went to when you were down here? Went to Universal? No, you weren't here. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that it, it, there's a a show in Universal Studios in Florida that kind of kind of looks like that. It's kind of like the uh, a typical Mardi Gras. So let's let's talk about what's in the box. Mm-hmm. Our uh, our portion of the show, this podcast, where we talk about things that are related to the motherland, Filipinas, Bayang mm-hmm. Maguilio, and Filipinas for, kung mahal. Filipinas kung mahal. So mm-hmm. t- this week we'll talk about uh, crab mentality and how it's the, the a cancer to the Filipino cult- Filipino culture. Crab, well, for everyone who's not familiar with crab mentality, it's to summarize it, it's just this thing that Filipinos have that you know it's probably prevalent in other cultures, but we you know, I guess we coined the crab mentality for us. It's this feeling that you're always trying to bring someone down instead of lifting them up. When, a bro- when one of your Filipino brothers and sisters are having a, some sort of a success or, a, you know, ahead of the game a little bit, the tendency for other Filipinos is to, instead of that positive thing, they what they do is wheel them in with the negativity. And it's like... Yeah, they'll pull you down, right? You pull you down. Hence, where the term is, crab mentality. You know, you see, like, videos of crabs that are going up and crabs are, like, pulling them down instead of helping them up. It, it it bugs them them you know it, it's a feeling that you know it bugs you when other people are succeeding and you're not and you know you want to you you want to pull them down to your level such that you guys are all in the same bucket no one gets out of the bucket so everyone wants whoever wants to get out of the, the bucket you know you just don't have a chance because there's a lot of people below you that will pull you down with them so you stay with them right um, uh, let me ask you two things about this. One, what do you think in general about you know just the crab mentality, what it is? And two, have you ever felt like that when you were in the Philippines, or even when after you know after you went to Canada? It's um, it's really jealousy, right? You don't want people succeeding. I, I feel like yeah, I feel like that's where the root is. The root is jealousy, right? right. It has to be. Um, that was the first question. Now the next question is: Did I ever feel Wait, like that towards other people? That, that's the that's the only not, reaction not, you have. Jealousy. 
Yeah, well, I guess so. That, that's that's pretty much it. And people like trying to up um up one another. You know what I mean? Like in, when it comes to status, because in the Philippines, status is a thing. When it comes to, and I'm gonna take this conversation to um on a tangent. You know how people pay attention to brands. You know, like if you have, like there were times when people would look at the tag on the back of your shirt. Um, you know, on your on your neck there, it would like check the tag if it's if it's a branded name. Because if it's not, then it's uh, you're no you're not cool. You know, if it's if it's Mikey instead of Nike, you know what I mean. People will, you know, I'm not saying that they won't respect you, but it, like you, you get made fun of for that. Um, that's I guess kind of I don't know if that ties into crab mentality, but it's really just people trying to up one another it's a status thing um, I don't I, I don't think personally I don't think that's crab mentality I think okay. it's just people trying to outdo one another I feel like that's the opposite of it I feel like that a good healthy competition instead of doing this will help you know like like this term that I told you like a couple weeks ago you know, rising, uh-huh. ri- a rising tide lifts all ships. So it's, if, it, uh-huh. if everybody's trying to outdo each other, what's going to happen is everybody's just going to get better. That, I don't, that's not a part of crab mentality. I, I personally don't think so. Um, what I think about with crab mentality is a lot of people that we know personally, we have, you know, uh-huh. it sucks, but we've, we've had friends who we've, we've known for so long, you know, act like that as well. You, you see, you have these things where when someone accomplishes something or something, there's something good that happens uh-huh. to one of, one of, you know, someone that you Artists. know. Uh-huh. Yeah. As someone with crab mentality, what do you think they would, the first thing they would do? They wouldn't, they wouldn't congratulate. They wouldn't say, Oh yeah, this that's nice. I'm happy for you. You pay attention to what what people with crab mentality will do. The first thing that comes out of their mouth is negative. They will point a negative thing. That thought the in there. Yeah, like for example, like you you had a promotion, right? For example, and you posted mm-hmm. it on you know what Facebook or you you told your friends and mm-hmm. I found out I found out about it. I'm your you know I'm your friend and for example in this scenario I have I have crab mentality. Uh-huh. What I would what I would do instead of like oh yeah congratulations bro that's awesome I'm happy for you man like you you you're getting it you know whatever. What I would uh-huh. do is I'd I'd pick apart something that would that would kind of like um make your accomplishments insignificant in a way. Like I will like say something that like well. You, you, the only thing, the only reason why that happened to you is because the other, the person you replaced, like retired. That's just a mm-hmm. minor like thing, yeah, right. It's, it's oh, not okay. even that harsh, but like it's like, yeah, you don't, you don't, basically, you didn't really deserve it. It's not you got promoted. The reason why mm-hmm. you got promoted wasn't because of you. It's more like ah, you just happened to be there, or you know, you have these other people who are worse who who would say something like, yeah, but like you you cheat on your wife. You know, like something that has nothing to do with what's happening to you. They would throw shade at it just just so it will kind of make your success insignificant. Yes, yes, ninety percent. It's um, it's more like dinudumihan yung your your. How do you say that in English? It's like it's it's almost what you said, but it's I'm looking for a significant uh, specific like term. It's like a smear. They smear your accomplishments. With, you know, the negative oh, stuff. They minimize it. That's what it is. That's the word that I'm thinking about. Yeah, they kind of minimize it. And instead of... And it's always like that. It's like... that. That's crab mentality. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I didn't really put much... I haven't really put much thought into it. But I don't know if I ever felt that way towards someone. Half the time, I don't give a shit. That's a thing. Um, and if, like if someone succeeds, hey man, I'm happy for you. Good, good stuff. Yeah. And after saying that, 
okay, now I'm going to get back to paying attention to my own life and, you know, hopefully make things more, you know, and, you know, create my own success too, such that we're all successful in, right in life. Um, and, and, I don't know, like know, back then. Right. I never, I don't know. I've never felt that way towards someone because I never had, um, like when it comes to, I had a low self-esteem. So if I have a low self-esteem, thanks for, you know, in, reintroducing that <laughs> term back to me because I keep using ego. Better than ego. Um, oh, um, they're kind of related. but um, Yeah, I have a low self-esteem. So to me, I don't even see myself as successful, right? I don't even see it as something that's possible for me. You know, but that has, something that's beyond me. But that's but, no, nothing what I'm saying, to do with you, though. It has but, nothing. What I'm, but what I'm saying is, cause, like, I'm, I'm answering your, your, your question there. Like, did, did I ever feel that way towards someone? Oh, it is. And my, answer okay. is, and my answer is no, because I already have a low self-esteem. And I don't really need to pull anyone down because I'm already down here. And I'm not jealous of, you know, I just don't really give a shit because I have my own shit to take care of. Um, so yeah, that was man. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna pass the next the question back to you. Did you ever mm. felt felt? Have you ever felt that way towards someone? I feel crime mentality, like what you said. The root, basically, the root thing, the root cause of it is usually jealousy and being envious, right? And <laughs> it's it's oh, that it's that okay. coupled with you know you you're using that emotion in a negative way. You're envious, you're jealous, and you're projecting like negative shit about it. Now that you said that, I just remembered. I'm Hang guilty on, let me of that. Let me finish my uh, thought first. Uh huh. It's, we're, we're you know we're we're humans, man. I, I've felt that emotion. I felt jealous of some people. I mean, I felt like envious of people's accomplishments. But I I can honestly say that I've never put someone down. Uh-huh. I've, you know, I might have when I was younger, but like towards like my years, especially here in America, just living here, I've, I, I can honestly say I've never felt like that. Whenever like a friend of mine or someone that I know, or someone that I care enough for me to like make a comment about it, when someone has an accomplishment, someone like graduates or like has a good job, my, uh-huh. my response is usually always like, man, that's freaking awesome. That's awesome. You know, just uh-huh. keep grinding, do this. Now, am I, do I feel sometimes that like, you know, it's, it's, you, it's, it's not, sometimes it's hard not to compare yourself to others. Like it's sometimes okay. that's where, that's where the feeling of a little bit of jealousy comes in, it comes, comes to mind. But going back to like our previous conversations, everybody has their own path everybody's you know your chapter four is someone else's chapter 26 and yeah over time i've learned to internalize that and that after i've realized that i'm like i'm never I, I never really feel like that anymore at least not like comparing myself to others well, well recently i have um i was i was invited to go to a housewarming party i didn't go because it was covid right um but this friend of mine they, they bought a big house talking about like legitimately big house and you know nice furniture and everything like you know like it's I, they, they called it their dream house when and to me that looks like a dream house to me too um like good for them but then at the same time i'm like that's a lot of money i wonder how they were able to pull that off right so then you start looking at, you know, you, you do some calculations. I'm like, does this make sense to get that? And it's really their choice. Everyone has a different, um, you know, priorities in life, or we all put different importance on, you know, on things. And to them, I guess, a house is something that's, you know, uh, that's really important to them. You know, maybe it's a symbol of family or whatever. I don't know. But I don't see houses the same way. And since I don't see houses uh, the same way they see houses, um, 
I can't help but sometimes wonder, I'm like, does it make sense? And, you know, like, this is good, but I don't know how this is going to affect you guys in the long run, right? Now, is that a crab mentality then? Because then I should be happy for them because they bought a big house. But the, but the burden of buying a big house sometimes is um, it's not fun, right? Especially if... Um, if you can't keep up with the maintenance and all that stuff, because you like, I, I think about that, right? Um, maybe they can pull it off. I'm not saying that they can't, but some it, it's not clicking in my head as to like, to, like I keep putting myself in their position. I'm like, I am not going to be able to handle that that um, that kind of responsibility. So then, they are successful, you know, to others, to themselves, which is good, but to me. I'm like, yeah, that's a success. But then at the same time, I kind of want to see how um, this would affect them in the long run. Because then if you're able to maintain that, then that to me is success. I don't know if I'm making sense. But now, mm. having said that, having said that, am I having a crab mentality then? Like when I have I, like, oh. That's like I, don't that. think, I, don't think, I don't think that's crab mentality. That's more like you're, you're just analyzing the situation. And you're trying to put yourself in their position, you know, their shoes. That that's not. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it is. Because I, because I'm now I'm trying to think of um, a way to, you know, how crab mentality works. Because maybe I have a different de- definition. Like I guess my definition of it is, you don't want other people uh, succeeding. Yeah, that's which that you is. already mentioned. That's that usually is. Yeah. But that reflects something about you, though, as a person, as to why you don't want others to succeed. I don't know if some people do it unintentionally, and maybe some people do it um, intentionally, right? I don't know if you know any of our friends who's done that, but I can think of one who would do such thing, right? I bet the only people the who would do, I don't know, like, but. When it comes to stuff, um, in when it comes to that though, the only people who would think that are the ones who's um, who has a, have a high status, who's up there, right? So when you see the little guy, you know, trying to rise on the top, what you do is you you pull them back down so that they don't, um, uh, you know, they, they misery, don't overstep your, your position. Misery loves company. So, right, so if you both of y'all are struggling, then the more the better. You know, if I'm struggling and I see you, you're struggling with me and I see you trying to rise up the ranks, I'm going to do my best to, like, pull you down. You can't be happy. Why, why, do you, why do you deserve to be happier than I am? We need to be both miserable. Because that's what keeps us together. You in, know in, I mean? my head, in, in my head, it is when the fact that Maybe if I, if I, there's a switch in my head, maybe if I support you to rise up the ranks, maybe in turn, my, there's, there's a switch, there's a drive, an ember will rise up in me to help me have this drive to get better myself. Because instead of using that jealousy in a negative way, I'll use it positively. I'll turn that energy into motivation. I'll turn that energy into a challenge, a challenge, a competition. It's like, all right, but th- that's why I'm saying like that whole, like one upping each other. I don't, it's not crab mentality in my head. Uh, because, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. It's like, all right, you did this. I'm going to, I'm going to do one better. You know? Oh, yeah. you had, you have one, you have one car. I'm going to get two. That's not crab mentality. That's actually, that's, I think that's healthy competition. And, and and that's the kind of people, friends, you want to surround yourself with, right? Um, yeah, bro. 100%. It's not, um, but unfortunately, yeah. Sometimes I wonder too that when the people that you, you know, that not you're with, but you know, in your current uh, circle, sometimes they just don't have that same interest and same drive as you, and they're not trying to pull you down it's just that you know they're not the best equipped to get you to the next level and that's why you have to 
you know, be in search for the ones who could, I'm not saying you abandon them. All I'm saying is there are other people out there who's more fit to Maybe, get we into have, the next level. We talked about this a couple episodes ago. <laughs> I'm just ranking, you recycle, sometimes you just got to recycle. Mm. Well, I guess so. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, just going back to what you said about surrounding yourself with like people that are like-minded and some you know people that are will lift you up instead of bring you down whatever here's what or i challenge will you tell right you. yeah here's what i will tell you sometimes you need you need when someone is having success when someone is doing good you need to look around the people that are around sur- surrounding you and listen to what they're saying like listen to the words that are coming out that's how you know oh, someone will so. have a cram mentality someone might be Someone might you might think that are positive when, but then they're like just all because I've I've known some people that are they're always like, why is this person always talking smack about this person when all the all, the other person is just winning and succeeding in life and this person is just like, it's always negative, and that doesn't you know like whenever you hear stuff like that it's always I don't feel good listening to that like I, I don't need that negative energy like why. Why are you putting that out in the universe and it's not even warranted? You know, why can't you just be yeah. happy? Or, or at, at, at the very least, just don't say anything. If you, you, you know, the whole, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good rule just, to just, have. Just shut the hell up, you know? Just don't talk. <gasps> don't go no bring need, everyone down. Away. Yeah, don't. Yeah. No need for your negativity, especially if someone is winning, you know? Anyways, that's just, that's just my thing when it comes to that, that crab mentality. Like crab, crab mentality. It's it's an it's an interesting idea, and uh, I, yeah, I just don't. It, and going back to like this whole, this is, has nothing to do with crowd mentality, but um, it it builds on the idea of, you know, like the Philippines as you know as a third world country, because they don't know how to. Everyone's smarter than the other, right? Like they all consider themselves out, a smart, outsmarting the system and all that. Um, mm-hmm. We try to consider ourselves smart, and yet we are poor. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, they're not. They're not exclusive to each other. But it, yeah, and and I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Like you know, some people would use a, instead of using a hammer, they would use a stone that they picked up, you know, on the road, and they call themselves. Um, resourceful because um, I don't need a hammer to make this thing work but in my head well you kind of need a hammer to do the job properly so for mm-hmm. some people think they're they're too smart I guess right and and that's how I guess ego is built and I don't know where I'm getting out with what I'm talking about I just realized that now how do you always do that by the way I don't know <laughs> oh, here's here's here here's where I was getting at. Um, th- that's part of it. Um, people trying to one up each other. Yeah. But what's re- what we're really lacking is, like, I guess the education and everyone just because we think we're so smart. It's not like we're close-minded. We don't think that there's a, a better way or another way out there. And whatever we do right now is to tried and you know the, the tried and tested path and this is what we should be doing and everyone's scared of um, um, trying something new you see i push back on i push back on that because you don't you don't need to be educated or smart to be a good person to be supported you know it doesn't take a degree or it doesn't take education for you to be, be like that you know, I've I've known I've known people that are not as educated, and they're the the best people to be around. They're a lot wiser, so it's not you giving them. Well, I guess I'm though. talking. To, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I you, just realized you, now. I'm talking about a totally different thing. I'm talking about you know, like you know, like ignorant. I guess ignorance. I guess, um, which is probably driving that too. Um, yeah. Um. I'm talking about driving poverty down, right? But not crab mentality. 
But I oh, want to keep exploring. Well, yeah, that's. I want to keep exploring crab mentality in this case. Because if, you, yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. Like I wanted to think that I probably felt that way too back then, because I'm not as um, I'm not as understanding as I am today. Back then, right? Back exactly. then, I'm just I'm in I'm in my own. I'm in my own bubble and what I think is right and I'm stubborn and I will um, like I have an ego that I want to take care of. Like I don't, you know, I always get into discussions. I like getting into arguments and winning arguments. And um, yeah, it, it, it it's something that um, well back then I've, I've had that. So and if I had that kind of mentality back then, I would, I probably had that same mentality too. You know, when and people are succeeding, it, like, and it's, ah. norm- it's it's normalized over there because majority of people feel like think like that. So growing up, if you're like young, you're just like, oh, this this is just a, an okay thing to do. This is an okay thing to to say because everybody's saying it. So that must mean it's okay. When in turn, yeah. it's not. Or maybe people are just too scared to, you know, um, you know, like you have a group of friends, you became friends with them because all you guys have something in common. And mm-hmm. to keep to keep that bond, well, you guys have always have to have something in common or maybe everything is common. The moment you start outgrowing them, that's when you become... Uh, that's when they're probably going to try to weed you out of the <laughs> that's when they're going to try to pull you down because they always want you to be a part of that um, that group I guess you know what I mean you made a, you yeah. really you made a good you made a good point and I want I want to kind of take the conversation a little bit on a tangent as well because of that do you feel like sometimes some people and I, I'm not saying this is just in our friendship in our little friendship uh-huh. but like in most people's friendship like uh-huh. some people who's who's had decades long friendships right so that means uh-huh. like the span of growth uh-huh. from from the start of the friendship to the the current uh-huh. one is this you've you've gone through so many changes but you managed to stay uh-huh. friends right uh-huh. do you think some people still there are certain friends in that group that still think like, oh, the way we react, the way we treat each other is just like back in high school or back when we first became friends. And some people acknowledge the reality that we're not the same people anymore. And there's, uh-huh. therefore, the, the relationship and the friendship should evolve along As with well. it. Because, yeah. yeah, because we're not, because if you're just basing it off on past experiences and camaraderies and friendships, what what, end, what ends up happening is, and we're guilty at this, and I, I'm sorry, I, I just have to say it. Like, we're all, what's left of our friendship is just like how we are with the people in the Philippines. We're just, whenever we talk, we'll have this two-hour reminiscing session. And then after that, there's really nothing left. Because we're just stuck in that friendship. You're stuck in the past. past. Exactly. Exactly. And then on the other side of that coin, you have you and I, who mm-hmm. we ha- we also sh- we also share that same experience, but at the same time, mm-hmm. we continued that friendship past that. So we right. we've, we've seen each other grow and evolve into different people, yet. At the same time, we be, we stayed friends, so the right. friendship evolved as well. You know, it. Yeah, it's 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 complex. That's what I. Yeah, it's really, that's what really I would is. say. Yeah, because if you like the, the the moment you go for vacation back back home, uh, back in the Philippines, and you meet up with um, people that you know, group of a group of friends, right? things will click like yeah. like if it was yesterday but there were also cases where i'm like okay i'm not um 
I'm not getting you anymore, but sit, but I'm going to try anyways. And there were times when I acted like this, I'm doing this because I think it's cool. When in reality, it's offending them. Like, like I've, I've had that Ooh. too one time. You're going to have to give me an example. When it comes to that. That, that, right? Curious. Like I, 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 I was like, what? I was specifically, I was what being, is it? I, I was, um, you know, like I would say things that are probably harsh because that we tend, that's what we tend to do with each other. Like, you know, I like mm-hmm. try to belittle someone, but I'm doing that because I can, I can fuck around with you. Like I can say these things and you're not going to take it seriously. But the moment this person takes it seriously, and that's when I'm like, oh shit, I didn't mean it that way. And I didn't want it to go that way. But, th- but since it's already been said and done, there's no way of taking it back, and now you look like a dick. <laughs> because you, like, I miscalculated the person's feeling. I thought it's okay to say this and that, when in reality, it's not. Um, so then I'd step back and wonder, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. But I already said those words, those things, and it's too late to take them back. Yeah. So then, you know. It, it it sucks. So then I guess what I'm getting at is that it, it, things have changed. Mm-hmm. Now this person's more sensitive than I thought he was. Or maybe I've changed. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. I became more like a dick maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, what, what, I, what I think it is, is, and this is just, you know, I don't, I don't know what's, what, ha- what, what happened. I wasn't there. But mm-hmm. just to analyze it on an outside perspective, I think... As over time, when we've grown separately, there are things that are sore spots for other people. And uh-huh. on our or on our end, as someone who's, you know, left America, you know, left the Philippines to go to North America, uh-huh. it's sometimes we don't think of life that they are living. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. It's, it's, you know, it's easiest for us to kind of joke about some things sometimes, but sometimes uh-huh. that's the stuff that we think are just light and like playful and like back in high school, like we do the uh-huh. same thing. It has a different connotation and different context now that we're, you know, uh, American. I see. Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? It's like, all right, it's, we, for some you know and, and to no fault of our own to no fault of their own it's just the, yeah. the reality of the real it's the reality of the situation we're indifferent which yeah but that see like just with that example things just change by themselves you didn't have to do anything and people evolve too some people are you know um they see like some of us are like more successful than the others uh, than others right um i highly respect jacko and i told him that too i i i don't i don't respect him as much as you do but i do because i like i it's because i i i know that you do like you respect him like i I, you don't want to you don't want to suck it that's what you want to do you want to just pull his pants down and suck it But like, like you know, I, this I, guy pull it off. You know, you know why I don't respect him as much, and it's it's not because you know it's not not no crack crab mentality or whatever. It's more that I've you're more surprised at his change than I am because I've seen yeah. I've seen the turn before I left for mm-hmm. you know before I left for America. I've already seen mm-hmm. that turn in in him, and we we've, we've had like hundreds of conversations regarding that. So it's not like. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not as surprised as you are. Of course, I'm happy for him. Uh, duh. But right, like, right. But you're not as surprised because I'm surprised, and I'm like yeah. this guy. And if I was to you know talk to some of our our friends, be like, hey, follow this guy's path, and I'm sure you're gonna get there. Uh, but obviously, some of us prefer to take their own path and would rather not follow, you know, a successful person's path. You know what I mean? Or just There's prefer not to prefer not to take any path at all and stay. And stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
it's right there. Was that was that term in Tagalog? Bato bato sa langit. Yeah, like, it's right there, and like even I, like I don't know, I'm I'm that way now. Like when when I see someone succeed like that, I want to know more about this person as to what made that switch. Wow. Something it's, clicked. Yeah. Something it's clicked. Like, it's it's more like here here's how I look at it too, and it's like the complete opposite of like crime mentality. It's like I don't care what kind of lane you're on, even if, for example, if you're like a, a singer or an engineer or a poet, whatever the hell you are, I want to know your mindset on how you became successful because there's certain mentalities and certain work ethics and skills that I can take from you and apply it to me, regardless of yeah. who Regardless of what maybe you we have that so. in common. Maybe, maybe we have that in yeah. common because that's what I do to people around me. I'm like, there's something about you that uh, I want, and therefore I want to work with you. Right. Because if I work with you, then I can see, I watch you more closely, and I'm gonna try to copy that and make it better for myself. And I just keep doing that to pretty much everyone. <laughs> yeah. On on mo- most people that are successful in you, you know not celebrities but like people that we know like. Our, our own little circles uh-huh. you, you there's there's patterns to see you can see patterns on how why people are successful there's always like these little four or five little things like hard effing work uh-huh. drive ambition uh-huh. and on on certain things like art, the arts like creativity and just talent uh-huh. you know but those you can get by without talent like pure talent you can if you have the discipline and the hard work and the ambition yeah yeah you, ambition you, in there too. You, yeah you might not go that far as that successful successful person but you will go places just because right. your ambition and hard work and motivation they will take you to places that that's better than where you currently are you know what i mean it's yeah. always going to be like that and that's that's always regardless of where you are, what kind of lane you're on. Uh-huh. It's always I always see that same pattern. It pops up and, every single and, time. And and real friends support you and they help you get there. And if, One thousand percent, right? dude. One thousand percent. And if if they can help you get there, they're at least gonna be honest with you as to why they can help, and they'll suggest probably point you to other people who who's able to gonna help you better, right? Yeah, or, I, I kind of wrote about that. Like, I I wrote an article about this. Yeah. It it was accepted, something to do with video games and Pokemon. But, mm. anyways, um, yeah, or at, at the very least, don't don't be negative. <laughs> is is my thing. You might not. You yeah. might not. You might. You might not know what I'm doing. You can, you might not be able to help me. But at least just mm-hmm. be there. Just be the friend. Just support me. You know. Well, right now, what we're doing again, I I see this as more of like an accountability thing, right? Um, because we talk about what the heck you're doing now and what I'm doing now, and yeah. sometimes I get to points where I'm like, maybe what I'm doing doesn't make sense. Hey, but I tried, so yeah. therefore, you know. And, and even though, I, yeah, and even though I give you crap about like you, you giving me advice about like, oh, look at your resume. Guess what I'm gonna do after this tomorrow? I'm gonna actually look at my resume. I'm not not not, not even gonna lie. You see, even though I tell you like that. I don't want to use your advice. Sometimes, you know, you're, I know, I know you're my friend and I know that you mean well, and I know that you're yeah. saying all that because not because to pull me down, but to lift me up. So unconsciously my head's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me at least consider that, you know? Yeah. So That's good. And I think most people are like that anyways. And, mm-hmm. um, well, anyways, yeah, that's something I want yeah. to write about too. Um, right. but that's another um, we'll save that for another day yeah um, but I yeah, guess that's it, it hey yeah we'll end it um, like I said as always appreciate you guys for listening so please we have an Instagram account Relic Bind Box Pod please like subscribe to the YouTube page um, you know leave a comment yeah. if you can Leave a comment. Just make sure it's not you know, a dating site. No, no, please not. <laughs> and like we're we're you know like like I said we 
we're just going to be honest with you guys. We primarily do this for ourselves, but, you know, we put it out there just for some reason, yeah. even, though it's, even though it's boring to other people. If someone wants to listen to it, of course, yeah. feel, feel free to listen to it. It's just two regular dudes just talking. That's what it is. Yuppers. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have anything else to add to that. Um, you can find me at reyesrjt.com. Just type that into uh, Google. And you'll find my website. Okay. Yep. And you can find me on Instagram at Ralphie Bones, R A L P H I E B O N E S underscore. And that's it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening.